All right, let's do a recap of last night's first class back and after five years, and I want to tell you what it did for me in my experience. Holy crap, it was ridiculous. Um, I haven't taught in five years, really. And the last probably year, year and a half of my teaching, I had no passion for martial arts, no passion for Wing Chun. Anybody who's in my class back around 2017 will tell you I was phoning it in. I wasn't teaching. I was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Half the time I had Matt run class. Uh, my head wasn't into it. I was fucked up. Um, last night was great. Jimmy joined me. He's back in class. And Jimmy and I started the YouTube channel with Matt back in 2012. All right, so it's, this is 10 years old at this point. Um, and, you know, Jimmy and I, it, it was so awesome. We had a small class. There was uh, five of us, right? Um and uh, one, there was a new, a new student who had some significant Wing Chun experience. Uh, another uh, guy who has, uh, Carl, has big, he's bigger, stronger energy, has other traditional martial arts experience than Christina, who you saw in the video. Uh, she had no martial arts experience, but a lot of fitness experience. And then Jimmy. And when we touched hands with each of them, especially the new student uh, uh, who's got martial arts, Wing Chun experience, and Jimmy, it was like, I haven't cheese out five years. Five years. A couple things I noticed because a lot of people are going to be wondering about my skill. No, I haven't kept up with any training in the last five years, not even forms. It's always in my head, but it's like I really haven't done anything. And that kind of, I was a little bit apprehensive. Um, when Jimmy and I first did an exchange where like, he fed me energy and I fed off, I felt my energy like it wanted to explode. It was literally, I would pock, punch, boom, and I, I, I'm right there by, Jimmy, by Jimmy's head, and I'm like, oh. The insides of me was bursting to unleash, to let it go. Oh, it felt so good. I think I told Jim that. I'm like, dude, I want to just unleash. It's like, it's been years. Um, very pleased with my chi sao ability. I touched hands with this new student who was an advanced student of another Wing Chun instructor who was, wasn't teaching, sent him my way. And again, felt holes in the game, knew exact. One of the biggest things that we're great in at my teaching is a facing and recovering act aspect. And that's what Clint Cloys had told me. I never really noticed it from Indianapolis Wing Chun when he came in. I'm just one of the best at facing. Um, and that's given me a position to dominate almost everybody I've been through. Um, like Sean McGuire uh, from uh, Naptown Wing Chun. I haven't she's out with him in obviously five years, but he's huge into Chana. And him and Casey and everybody else are really, they're soaking up Gary Lamb's system and they're fucking dominating it they're beasts they're be don't you touch hands with steven you got a death wish it's as simple as that but when sean was trying to apply um uh uh china on me i found out that my facing and relaxation got me out a lot of his shit otherwise you're dead with sean simple as that um the second i was able to feel and face with their pressure pushing because they push on your center with uh, with 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 how they do. They have like nine points, one, two, three, four, five, nine points in your body. Well, they'll push you, and that's not what we do. It's like if you don't know how to face and recover, you, you'll never handle them. So that was one of the biggest things. I got a cheese out guy in my school, and I'm like, shit, you know, I got to make sure that I know what I can do after five years. So we touch hands, and I'm like, oh, I got it, and I got it. And the best thing about it, I'm going to say this is, you have to be a level of arrogance. When you're, especially if you're going to teach a class, right? Um, I've told this story before. Uh, my friend Justin Ock, Sifu Ock, who teaches out of Florida, you know, one of the best stories he ever told me that really got me in a position to uh, teach was I used to have guys coming in my, my gym, my school, and they'd want to challenge me. And I'm like, no, guy's not doing that. I'm not doing challenge matches, this and that shit. And Justin told me I was a fool. He's like, dude, you're losing students. I said, what? He goes, your best, my best students are the ones who came in with an attitude, left with a cracked rib or a broken lip or a broken nose or a, you know, a busted lip. And is nobody wants to learn from somebody they think they're better than. So a lot of times it's a good thing for us to be the top dog, be the, the pack leader, the, 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 you know, the, the alpha wolf, right? Because we have to be able to uh, uh, have meet our intentions with that with that bottled up energy inside us because if we don't that, that's masculine energy we have to be able to exert that and it felt really damn good last night for after five years to touch hands and stack ass and be like dude fucking we're back with this and it's great so i'm hoping you're enjoying this we're going to keep sending you videos from uh, class comment if you guys got a question or you see something uh, or you got a, a challenge, do me a favor, A, be respectful. I know that uh, you attack me all you want, leave my students out of this shit. Uh, otherwise, I'll block you from the channel. But, I mean, I don't give a shit what you say about me. 
Um, but if you got something you want to see or you have a question, I think I really want to do that this time. I want to interact with you guys and kind of answer the questions as best I can online. Uh, again, no, we're not going to spar. Don't If you come here, where's your sparring bullshit? I'm 47. I'm 47 and it hurts. I literally, I'm not kidding. I cheese out last night, not that much, maybe a total of 10 minutes. Woke up this morning, my lower back was like on fire. I was like, dude, because I was using muscles I haven't used in a long time. My triceps were like, holy shit. My, my lats were like, damn, because of the forwarding energy. But it's great. So I want to give you a brief update. I got a lot of rust to knock off. But one of the biggest things I noticed about me last night was this bottled in, in inside energy that just wanted to come out. And it wanted to just explosively haul off. Um, and the skills that didn't die, facing, sensitivity, uh, uh, forwarding energy, uh, center. All, it, it, it's just because I've been doing it for you know 25 years now. Um, I think it's okay to take five years off, and and you know I mean just it, it never left my heart, never left my mind. But I just I, I thought about it more ph philosophically than I did physical application, and I think that made me better to a degree. So we'll see what happens over the next several uh, uh, weeks and months. Thanks for joining the journey. I want to give you an update after class, but we're also going backwards. Last night, we started with centerline punch. That's the homework the students got. Um, they started to do Pac Dadro, you know, with each other. And then I gave Christina a sequence uh, as far as for, for a Chi Sao because I like, I don't, it's, it's Justin's going to run his school. He's got one of the most successful Wing Chun schools in the country, but it's not my style. He won't teach Chi Sao until you've committed yourself. And that could be five years, right? I want people learning Chi Sao off the bat because of the culture we live in. We don't have those people. This is America. We're going to, we're going to punch center line 10,000 times, 10,000 times before they move on. People have a short attention span. I want to keep them engaged and entertained, right? So I wanted her to see last night, when you have a philosophical martial art, there's got to be some meaning behind it. So I gave her, this is where you could be heading. And I appreciate the comments on that. Again, guys, I look forward to engaging you uh, here online. It's great to be back. Thank you for all the support over the years. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.